breaking. Welcome to today's news. Here is the headline. It is surprising Unamdekanu is seeking political solution. Ex VP's aide, Laolu Akandi. It is surprising Unamdekanu is seeking political solution. Ex VP's aide, Laolu Akande. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news and please do ensure you like, subscribe, and share. Now, the details. Former spokesman of ex vice president, Yemi Oshimbajo, Akode Laulu, on Thursday said it's surprising that Unnam Dekanu, pro Biafra agitator, is seeking a political solution to his trial and continued detention. Laulu said, considering his past antecedent, Kanu should have insisted on court settlement rather than political solution. He spoke while featuring on channels television Sunrise Daily. According to Laulu, I am surprised that he is trying to get a political solution. I think Mr. Onamdekano should be bold enough to check out these things in court, but apparently he is not. I would have expected him, based on what we know about him, to say, look, let us go to court. On Wednesday, Southeast Senators appealed to President Bola Med Tinobu to order Kanu's release. Led by Senator A. Yinayala Baribe, the lawmakers claimed that unless Kanu is released, the social and economic activities in the southeast zone would continue to be stagnant. Former spokesman of ex vice president Yemi Oshibajo, Akonde Laulu, on Thursday said it is surprising that Unnam Dekanu, pro Biafra agitator, is seeking a political solution to his trial and continued detention. Laulu said, considering his past antecedent, Kanu should have insisted on court settlement rather than political solution. He spoke while featuring on channels television Sunrise Daily. According to Laolu, I am surprised that he is trying to get a political solution. I think Mr. Onamdekanu should be bold enough to check out these things in court, but apparently he is not. I would have expected him, based on what we know about him, to say, look, let us go to court. On Wednesday, Southeast Senators appealed to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to order Kano's release. Led by Senator Lee Yinayala Baribe, the lawmakers claimed that unless Kano is released, the social and economic acti activities in the Southeast zone would continue to be stagnant. To my dear listeners, 
now we've come to the end of our today's news and now before i go in contribution to the news that i've read this is what we called tribal by Godfrey and ethnic bias because i want to say people like this people like laolu akonde would would be the reason why they would say is it because Unamdekanu is Igbo or because he is Unamdekanu? So are we saying because Unamdekanu now is not is not from is not a Yoruba? So that is why um is is against it because glaringly it is it is and the question is if Nigeria is in a better shape. Would he, would uh, Munam de Kano, would he have, would he have odd for this um, agitation? No, he won't do something like that. And in a better, and in a better country, let's not be biased. In a better country, by now, the judgment would have been passed, instead of all these. All these um, adjournment and everything, we don't even know if it if he's been arrested. But obviously, but obviously, we all know this is a political dissent. We know it. We know it has to do with political settlement, and not the other way around. All this, even if it is called settlement, the other would come from the above. Even since the president says, "Go, he is he is ahead of every every everything in this country." So uh, um, let's not be let's not be biased. It doesn't make sense at all. So to me, by now I expect the the judgment should have been passed, even if he's going to even if if he's going to be um incarcerated, if he's going to go to prison, you should we should know instead of uh.